warmed up enough. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Hello, I'm Bruce Shaney, and today in Homemade Science, I thought I would share with you my latest project. In this case, I'm trying to build a car that's powered using energy stored from atmospheric pressure. Now, originally I saw this idea from Tom Stanton on his YouTube channel, and in his case, he used syringes. Now, in our case, instead of using syringes, I'm going to go a bit large and use these water squirters. Now, these actually work fairly well. You simply draw the water in, and then give it a good push, and it shoots it a pretty good distance. In this case, we're going to seal the one end and pull back on that plunger, and it feels like I'm pulling back on a gigantic spring. The first step is to lock the tube onto the car itself using these blocks. And then before I use it, I'm going to wrap a second layer of plastic around it to keep atmospheric pressure from collapsing the tube wall. All right, I think I'm ready to run some trials. Now, the first thing I need to do is seal the front end of this tube. To do that, I put in this little plastic plug and hopefully get a good seal. Next, I'll pull the plunger out slightly and attach the string to the back axle. It takes about 14 turns to get that plunger fully extended. Our first runs look very promising, about 125 to 150 feet before we had to stop it. Trying it in the gymnasium gave us about 170 feet before we'd have to stop it. When I first started testing these, I was quite surprised by how much energy I thought I could store by simply pulling back that plunger. Of course, the length of it would require that the car I made would be fairly large. It's also a bit heavy. It weighs in at about seven and a half pounds or about 3.5 kilograms. The potential energy to drive the car is actually the result of creating a vacuum or empty space inside that tube when I pull back the plunger. The atmosphere tries to push that plunger back in again with a pressure equal to about 14.7 pounds per square inch. The plunger is slightly smaller than a square inch, so the exerted force is somewhere around 11.5 pounds or 51.2 newtons. This force then applies a torque to the axle, which powers the car for about 32 feet. After that, it's coasting until we run out of room. Of course, some runs were better than others. Once in a while, the car thinks it's a rollback toy. Ready? Yep. And this is what happens if we don't have a good seal at the front of that tube. <laughs> now with a good seal, it does take quite a bit of effort to pull this plunger out. And that force should be consistent for the length of this whole tube. We can test that using a simple spring scale. We checked the force at various distances and found it matched our calculations of a little bit over 51 newtons. So the force being consistent for the full range gives us a nice smooth acceleration. So far we've been running this car with a string wrapped directly around the axle. Now I want to try a slight change to it. 
Currently, the axle has a diameter of 5 sixteenths. I'm going to add a sleeve on it, which is going to increase it to 10 sixteenths. We were looking at changing the mechanical advantage and wanted to see if this would improve its performance. The additional torque was enough that it caused the wooden wheels to spin on the gymnasium floor. A problem that we could easily resolve by adding rubber bands to the rear wheels and that gave us enough traction. We found it did make the car slightly faster, but also broke the rear axle after a few runs due to the added stress. We also found that it slowed down faster. Up to this point, the car's been running in a straight line, but the front wheels are adjustable, so I thought I'd turn them and see if I can get the car to go in one giant circle. Looks like it just made it. Well, for the first prototype, I think we had some pretty good runs with it. Now it's time for some improvements, and if you have any ideas, I'd love to hear them down in the comments below. I will keep you updated on the progress of this, and as always, I want to thank you for watching, and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.